All right, welcome back to another episode of the Members Cast. I'm your boy, Corey G, and that is Julie Arnold, one of the OG females from the app yeah. and a uh, recent mother, which is amazing. Thank you, thank and, you. And so, first off, great to see you. Uh, you have been supporting both brands for a really long time, and I think what's amazing about uh, getting a chance to interview you, Julie, is previous uh, to being a mother, now now being a mother, the training, I think is a, a really interesting component. Being one of the OG females on the app and, you know, doing a lot of the same training as we're doing, I think is one big component. Um, and so I think there's a lot of value that you could offer people that are just watching this and trying to get inspired to change and whatnot. But I want to start all the way back to how did you hear about either myself, Max Effort, Corgi Fitness? Like, let's start at the beginning and we'll kind of go from there. Yeah, so... Um, I think I've been a member of yours. I think this is seventh or eighth year. Um, 2018, I, I think. I think it's, yeah, I think that's right. Um, I just, I had an old friend from high school and he, uh, he was actually following you when you were at Muscle Farm. So he kind of, he, he talked me into getting you on your, or getting me on your training programs, your old Twitter workouts. Uh, Got it. So, you know, I joined that, definitely got hooked. And then once your, your app came about, um, joined that. Um, but what really hooked me onto your, onto the, onto your training protocols was just the, um, just being able to have like a, a normal, you know, quote unquote, normal lifestyle while also still reaching the goals that, you know, that we set out for with, you know, as it pertains to diet and as it pertains to treating, um, so like, like you said, I think it was back in 2018, if not even sooner, but, um, and have, have been following you since. So just really through, through word of mouth and, um, I've, I've stuck with it since and it's been awesome. That's awesome. And, uh, we were talking off camera, like you came to the original old school two different times. So maybe share with the customers, um, and just the people that are watching, like what it was like to come to the gym obviously like just get a chance to kind of chop it up with some of the guys in the morning and just be around kind of what we got going on here. Coming to the gym, it was like, it was like seeing a bunch of old friends, people that I've never even met before in person, <laughs> you That's specifically, awesome. but you know, you came in, you recognized me probably just, you know, from social media, obviously, you know, gave me a hug. Like we were like, like I said, like we were old friends. So just the atmosphere of it being, um, you know, a really inviting yet competitive atmosphere um, was, was definitely something that I recall the most. Um, and you can just tell from the, 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 the moment you pull into the parking lot to the moment you step into the gym, um, the type of intensity that you guys bring in your training, but also the type of camaraderie, like you have an amazing group within the 4am crew. And, um, and like I said, people that I, I, I had never really met before in person, um, but they kind of took me under their wing. I trained with them. Uh, you know, it was, it was just, it was a great experience overall. I think of the course, it was probably on a Friday where we were there. So we were hitting a good arm day pump. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it was awesome. And not only that, but it was a really good learning experience too. Um, getting a lot of good cues from, from you and professor Don, I was talking to him quite a bit. Um, so it was a really humbling experience. Definitely something I won't forget, but yeah, it was, it was awesome. I'm, I'm glad I was able to take advantage of that. Those, those two times out in Columbus. Well, and that right there in a nutshell is why we're working on this newer model where we have, you know, the community can start to come here again and, and get the chance to experience exactly what you said, which is a camaraderie with a level of like seriousness. That's, you know, important. You, you want to put your best foot forward when you walk through the door. That was right. something I learned at yeah. West side and something I wanted to keep continuing on that like mentality. And so the fact that you grabbed that right out the gate, but still felt comfortable. See, I think that's the, yeah. that's the hard thing to put together. Um, right. is that there's a level of like competitiveness and seriousness, but with fun and camaraderie, which is a tricky, a tricky kind of match. So talk to me about some of when you came to start to go all in with the protocols, what were the, you know, initial kind of results that you were looking for? Talk about, you've been, you've been seeing a little bit of everything now, Jules, you've been around forever, right? Uh, yeah. One of the more longer standing members. So like about, you know, this duration of time, uh, what your goals were, things you've achieved, things you've maintained, like how it's helped you in your day-to-day -day life and just kind of wrap that all in a bow for me. 
I honestly, the more I follow you and your training programs over the years, the more important it becomes to me um, as far as just living a healthy lifestyle, not necessarily getting super, super jacked and strong, especially now being a mother. It's my priorities have changed a little bit, but I'm really trying to keep training a, a priority um, one, maybe two after baby, obviously, but it's definitely important to me. Um, because I know the results it has, has led me to in my life, not just from a training standpoint, but from a professional standpoint, um, you know, within, within changing jobs and just, just being a more confident person overall. Um, so, you know, my, my initial goals were to just find some type of solid training program that I could follow, um, mm. just to, just to live a healthy lifestyle. And the more I bought into it, as far as your four pillars, you know, the training, the subs, the diet, um, the lunges, the more I bought into it, the more results I'd see. So I, as, as simple as it is, I'm not saying it's easy, but as simple as it is, once you really do buy into it, I mean, the results are going to come obviously with a little patience and a lot of, a little patience and a lot of consistency. Um, but you know, like I, like I said, initially I was just, I was setting out to find some type of solid training program. And the more I bought into it, the more I realized that the content we get from your app, especially, is not just for training. It's for, you know, confidence. It's, you know, learning about yourself. It's, you know, taking initiative and it feeds into all aspects of my life, really. Well, and that's what I, you know, I think I, <clears throat> I was telling one of the other guys I was interviewing, like, I started to lead more with that type of content and realized that that type of content comes after mm -hmm. you're already in the mix. Right. And so now I've reverted back to leading with more training content. And then I think you uncover that part about that. You want that type of stuff after you're in the mix. Yeah. I know how important that stuff is. I want to talk about it all the time, right. but I got to realize that most people aren't there day one. They get 30 days under the belt. They're starting to feel a little bit better. They start to get addicted to feeling good. And then they, then they listen to a daily fire and go, wait a second, what else is, and then it's like kind of snowballs. And so yeah. I do believe that there's a full blown mental, physical kind of thing going on here that people start to uncover after they're in it for a little while. So I'm glad that you said that because that is my intention. I think that, you know, I've kind of went back to, I guess, leading with the other stuff because I need to get people to that point so they can, I think, you know, kind of go down that road. Yeah. But that that's what I take the most pride in because I think there is an actual life changing opportunity here if people buy all the way in. And to your point, it is simplistic, but you know, it's it's still difficult. <laughs> it, yeah, and I think you know, for all the members out there listening or people that are you know potentially wanting to join your app, like you said, you might come to the app for training, but really once you buy in it, it but it's it's got to be consistency you're not going to see you know all of these life lessons that we're getting right away but the more you buy in the more consistent you are the more disciplined you are there's no doubt i mean it's their hands down there's there's no way you couldn't experience those things so it's you just Love gotta it. you just gotta discipline yourself and, and stay consistent talk about so i remember having a great conversation with you uh one time you reached out and we talked about changing jobs or mm -hmm business stuff. And I remember, you know, trying to be like, super like, yo, this is my thought on this, but it also depends on this factor. And it's not just money driven and it's time driven. But the reality is, as a member, client, trainer, whatever, but because we had, cons I had created content and consumed content, you had consumed tons of content outside of the app, inside of the app. I remember that conversation pretty, pretty uh, pretty strong was just like, we were on the same exact wavelength. I think when I gave you the advice, whether you took it that direction or this direction, but I just remember thinking coming away from that conversation, Jules, like this is somebody that's been in the system for a long time that takes this stuff very serious and understands this exact, like she was at a life area and you had to, you know, and so I just, I don't know. I just really enjoyed that interaction because that was a years of culmination of like our, uh, I guess, social media relationship and as a client, but then like to really like talk as, as, as bros for a second and be like, look, here, here's, yeah. you know, I know what you're about. I know you're serious. I know this is how it is. So I don't know, maybe speak on that for a second. Cause that was really cool. Yeah. So, I mean, and to your point, you can be I, vague on the situation I'm, if you want. 
I'm in a different job um, than when I had spoken to you and I kind of followed mm -hmm. your advice. The advice that at the time, and I, I still do 100% agree with, I just had to put the work and put the time into that other job before I made the switch. And that's what I did. Yeah. Um, and now it's, you know, I'm working back closer to home, especially now with, with a daughter. There's no way I could have had that other position and yeah. then my family. <clears throat> so um, the stars had kind of aligned, but, you know, do, I, I don't really want to call it luck. You know, I, I think preparation and opportunity. And I think that it ultimately led to me being able to take a position closer to home. Um, and, you know, coincidentally, we, we started a family not much later than that. But, um, you know, I was in a tough position with, you know, within my job. And it was, but it's a position I put myself in because I knew down the road, especially my professional career, it was going to make me better, make me more marketable. Um, but, you know, I wasn't necessarily, you know, entirely happy, but, you know, that was a sacrifice I was willing to make for, for three years um, yeah. before, before, like I said, finding a job closer to home. And I think the advice you had given me is, you know, just putting in the work and doing what you have to do to get through it and eventually just being there for your family and ultimately doing something and finding something that, that you're going to be happy with. Are we going to love every single thing about our jobs every day? You know, of course not. But um, I knew that this was the right move. I took a pay cut. But fortunately, you know, my husband and I are in a position where, where that's okay to do. But, you know, I'm much happier. I do not regret anything about my past experiences. I think they were great. I worked with a lot of amazing people. Um, and it certainly helped build the, the, you know, the person I am within my, within, within my career today. Um, so love yeah, it. it's, it kind of came full circle, I guess. Yeah. I love that whole, I love that whole situation because the, uh, just understanding, like you would just, I guess the biggest point was you had just worked on yourself so much, yeah. uh, from a standpoint of all the personal development, all the training, all that, like, I love just like that, that talk at that level and just like, to me, I was like, this is what I want the community to be like. This is what I'm trying to build is people that are like-minded making confident decisions, not just based on the dollar, but mm -hmm. based on the lifestyle of, right. you know, so I don't know. That was just something that I, what, when I knew this was coming up today, it kind of came across my mind. I hadn't thought about it in a while. Yeah. And I was like, it was pretty cool. And I don't think I make that jump to that previous job because that was, you know, a pretty large jump in terms of, you know, leadership in a managerial role. Um, and I don't think I make the jump back to the position where I'm currently in, where I'm much happier without the things that I've learned going through your programs and going through, um, you know, all the things we've talked about as far as developing yourself through, through your app and just listening to your daily fires and putting in that consistent work. I don't think any of that really happens without the things that I've learned and experienced through the app. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Congrats, Jewel. That's so Thanks. cool. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm a proud trainer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so tell me, the, there's a lot of females that are starting to kind of look around at Corey G Fitness, especially with Kyle Richards and Morgan Wade and some of the more like exposure I've been getting most recently. And it's like, there's not a lot of uh, females that post a lot within the app on a regular basis. You're somebody that's been around for a really long time. So it's like, maybe you could offer some advice to some of the females that are like on the fence or a little scared because they come in and just see abs everywhere. And there's not, because I mean, I, I think I'm really for everybody, but there's also an edge to it. Yeah. Um, but you obviously had a, a lot of value by being here and being a female. So any advice you could offer that I think would be very helpful. Yes. Um, I guess, you know, I've never really trained, I don't want to sound like I'm being stereotypical, but you know, to get the, the girl butt or to get whatever, I just wanted to be fit and I wanted to be healthy yep. and I wanted to look good and feel good about myself when I looked in the mirror. And I think, um, and I've tried, I've done mostly get stacked most recently, the pump thirties, given the change in my lifestyle, but oh, I've yeah. tried the numerous programs that you've had as far as I did the wifey trainers that you guys, that you and your wife had made. Um, yeah. I did a lot of Kiki stuff. Um, so I think there's a lot of programs aside from the get stacked and the pump thirties that really lend themselves to perhaps what, um, a female might be looking for in her training program. Um, and you know, as, as a lot of women know, um, it's, you're not going to get big and buff, but you're going to get fit and you're going to feel lean. You're going to look lean and you're going to feel great. Um, as, and that, that goes to, you know, 
pertains to your training programs, but also the lunges. Um, yeah. I personally am not a runner. I've hated running as far as I can remember, but those 10 to 20 minutes, 400, 800 meters, whatever it is dedicated to the lunges has really helped increase my metabolism over the years. Um, and it's something is the lunges of something are something I've stayed consistent with throughout your whole training program. Um, yep. But that's my cardio. Which, by the way, will get your butt to look the way you want it to yes, look. <laughs> yes, right. Um, people always ask me, like, what do you do for cardio? How do you? How can you eat so much and just stay thin? I'm like, I – and they look at me like I have six heads, and I'm like, yeah, I lunge a lap around the track. They're like, what? You know? But, <laughs> I, lo- <laughs> I, I love that answer so much. Myself, you know? But, yeah, I would – I would just give it a shot, ladies. I mean, it's – and I know there's a lot more guys on the app, I would say, but you yeah. know, a lot of things that pertain to the guys pertain to the females as well. So there's a lot of good resources too that, you know, that we can lean on each other for. Well, and don't be scared to post within the community because that's why everyone's there. And that's what I'm starting to see a little bit more of, which I really yeah. like, right? Yeah. Is that there is more females that are starting to post and kind of put themselves out there a little bit. And I always like would joke that I get a ton of pictures of dudes with their shirts off. Women aren't sending me pictures like that because it's weird, right? Like, I mean, it's yeah, so yeah. it's like, where's your before and afters of your females? I'm like, girls aren't sending me, which Rachel probably likes, right? That I'm not getting that. But it's like, I get tons of pictures of dudes with their shirts off. Danny and Treadway and Cole are all laughing on the side here. But it's like, so that is a dynamic, which is part of why I don't post a ton of females. Right, right. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Um, Another thing I think would be super helpful, like as you are now a mother, it's like you mentioned uh, going from a workout that, you know, lifting weights was normally hour and 15, hour and a half to now 30 minutes plus lunging 20. Like you're really saying, yo, I can be in, in a high, cause I mean the pump thirties are no joke. I just did five of them in one day at men's health and I about it, it was hard and I'm the one that made them. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, you do a pump 30 and lunge. Yeah, there's no way you're not going to get better or at least be able to maintain or whatnot. It, I think that combo is, is solid. And maybe you could speak to that since you had the baby. And, um, I'll speak on this first. I think the pump thirties are what you put into it too. Like if you're half asking, half asking the training pro or the, 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 the routine and you're taking longer than like, it's designed for 30 minutes for a reason. And like many of your programs, the rest is maybe a sip of water and get back to work. But um, I really think it's, you know, like today I was dripping sweat. I'm working out in my basement now. I pretty much have a full gym set up there. Um, but I was Love dripping it. sweat within the first probably 10 minutes. Um, so, yeah, with the lunges and the pump 30, and I do a little extra GPP, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm good in 50 minutes. Sometimes the baby makes me fin- – That's makes awesome. Me, I might be able to get through half the workout and i got to come back if my baby's crying. But, um, yeah. yeah, I mean, the pump 30s are amazing. Um and I was, you know, competing in powerlifting until, you know, I got pregnant. But I think the results I've gotten from Pump 30 as far as keeping up the metabolism and feeling lean. and um, I mean, not to kind of boast, but I'm basically back to my pre-pregnancy weight. And looking Hey, t- and let them know, girl. Let yeah, them know. I, mean, <laughs> I think I, I, I look just as good as I did pre-pregnancy. So, yeah. Um, and that, I, I was looking know, at some pictures of you uh, yeah. <laughs> flexing before I got on. I was like, eh, Jules flexing the abs. I mean, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. look, the fact that you were already in that type of shape because you've been working all these years, the body will bounce back much faster For after, sure. you know what I mean? It's all kind of where you start at. So I'm yeah. not surprised by that, Jewel. Yeah. And I was fortunately, and I'm not condoning this, obviously talk to your doctor, get cleared, but you know, I was, I was working out through my entire pregnancy, including lunges, but that just mm-hmm. goes to show the effectiveness and the flexibility in the, um, within your, within your training programs. Did I have to adapt mm-hmm. some things obviously, but you know, um, I had a C-section and I recovered. The doctor said, you know, faster than he's ever seen somebody recover. And like I said, Hell I'm yeah. not sitting here to boast, but I'm sitting here to just, to just show f- for, you know, future women or the guys on your, tra- uh, on your app, maybe for their lives. Mm. Um, I think a lot of the work I had put in for the, over the course of several years led me to yes. have a really good, I don't want to say easy pregnancy, but I was pretty comfortable the whole time. So, yeah. Well, it's not boasting when you're just telling the story. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it probably feels weird because you probably don't do that type of stuff very often. Right. Yeah. But that's why I'm here because <laughs> I think, you know, having you on is like, 
you're just a really great example of somebody that has stayed super consistent, had great results, doesn't do this for their job. You know what I mean? Like it's a compliment to their other job and, and it's really important to you on a regular basis, which I've always known, which is why I told you to come to the gym in the first place. Right. So it's like, I think there is a lot of value in somebody hearing your side. And that's part of why I'm really bullish on doing the members cast because I can say this stuff till I'm blue in the face and it's my job. So there's always going to be that element. Right. But as you know, we go over this next year and every week talk to somebody like yourself that can offer, you know, value to somebody that, cause really the key is, is somebody that could have this life change and they just, it's just, you know, whatever it is, they just keep on holding back. And I think some of these interviews are starting to get people to go, you know what? This, I, I got the same thing going on. I only got the, it, you start to squash excuses because right. <laughs> we all got to deal with this stuff. Like the baby cries and you got to run upstairs. Like that's real. That's real. A hundred percent. I think that's why we've been able to, you know, me along with a lot of other members on your app that I've recognized over the years. I mean, the way your lifestyle as a dad and as a husband, um, I think the way you kind of design your training programs, it, they're not something that you do for a week or two or a month or whatever. And then, you, and then you quit it. Like, I think that's why they're so um, effective is that you make them so flexible for people's lifestyles and just the way that you lead your own lifestyle um, is, is very relatable. And I think that's key. I think, you know, a lot of all the people within the fitness industries that I've seen, I think you're probably the most relatable. And that's really the reason that, you know, people are able Thanks, to around. Thanks, Julie. You're sure. me up today. Hell yeah, man. All right. Tell me, uh, from a max effort standpoint, I want to know your favorite two products or like, uh, flavors or, or whatever. I th we, I've been asking every member that too, because yeah. everyone uh -huh. has shown up with a max effort t-shirt on so far, which has been awesome. Well, the throwback, I'm not saying it's my favorite, but I got to give it a shout out was the, the amino coffee you had way back when. Oh <laughs> yeah, man. That's, that, that was good stuff. Okay. Favorite I haven't heard that one in a while. Favorite two, obviously amino recovery, probably, probably the lemonade or the glacier freeze. Yep. Um, Pre-workout, honestly, I, I could go. I could go with whatever. Um, the grape yep. is always solid. Um, that's uh, the, the, one of the kiwi strawberries, I think it was, or what, whatever it was called. But I wasn't able to take that stuff for the last nine months being pregnant. But um, yeah. And it's funny because I noticed a vast difference in not taking the amino recovery as far as not being able to recover as quickly. Um, yeah. Or as, you know, as much as when I was taking it, obviously I couldn't take it for, for obvious reasons, but, yep. um, just goes to show the effectiveness of, of, of those two products for sure. People, people are funny with the aminos, Jewel, cause a lot of people don't understand that it's already broken down protein yeah. for, to help your muscles recover. And especially in a fasting protocol, the hardcore faster say, Oh, it messes up your fast. I ain't never noticed no difference it, other than I'm more recovered when I take it in that window. Yeah. But the reality is when I, you know, if I went on vacation and not took enough with me, or for some reason I was out of it over the weekend, I didn't make it back to the office, whatever, if I would go a day or two, I definitely notice. I've been taking aminos since I met Serrano. So you're talking like 2001 or two. So yeah. like, and as we've like, you know, manipulated the formula over time and figured out exactly what we want, I almost feel like I can't, not the volume that we keep. It's just, there has to be that level of, so I just, there's more and more that people are starting to understand about that, but it's like, it's such an important part of the program. Um, in my opinion, especially with the fasting protocol. I mean, I just think it's so necessary to have. So I'm glad that you uh, mentioned that it's pretty cool. And once again, you've supported both brands for so long. It's been yeah. amazing. What yep. is there real quick? The um, other product I'll shout yeah. out to is your creatine. When I would train for powerlifting meat, I was initially afraid to take any creatine because you, you hear about bloating and all that stuff, but mm -hmm. I didn't feel any ounce of bloating and I definitely felt stronger in my lifts, more recovered, um, felt stronger in my lift. So anytime I was training for, for a power, I don't normally take it, but if I was training for meat, that creatine was way for sure. Oh yeah. No. And there's a, obviously a lot of information about just monohydrate in general. That's kind of yeah. perked back up in the industry. It's funny how it cycles. For but sure. it's like now everybody's taking creatine, but it's good to hear a female obviously talk about yeah. that. And there's, they're just finding more and more things that creatine helps with in general. And it's not yeah. just that, but it's also like cognitive and all kinds of different things they're yeah. starting to figure out. Yeah. What's um, a couple questions that you might have for me that I could help you with? 
currently. Ooh, you're going to put me on the spot. Yep. All right. Um, I guess, you know, now that I'm a parent, um, just finding, and you know, sometimes we talk about how sometimes, sometimes there just isn't a balance with work and life and training and all that stuff. Sometimes there, you, know, you just got to deal with the imbalances, but talk about, um, you know, you being a dad of three, you know, I'm just a, a brand new mom with it, with a two month old and, you know, a very supportive husband, and a, a really supportive family, but still it's, it's hard to find time to, you know, to, to keep those priorities, your priorities in, in this case training. So I yep. guess just, you know, how did you handle that in your newborn stages? You thinking back to when Alex was a baby and keeping your, yeah. and I know it was your job, but how did you keep that a priority with, with everything else you had going on? Well, I think what was the hardest part was the obviously cause it's my job. Rachel was like, look, I know you're going to get up early. Um, so I'm going to handle the stuff at night. Like that's just a done deal. Like we had that, you know, cause that's like part of how we obviously pay our bills. And so that was cool. What I would say was challenging though, the most was cause that, you know, figure when Alex was born, I was, you know, running MP and it was more like still my training being focused on something that was like extreme in my job. Meaning like to still be able to get ready for a shoot to still be able to compete in powerlifting. So just trying to be a parent and then working kind of a crazy business. But when you, and the business being obviously part of working out, but like when you add that extra component, that's what I think I had the most, uh, that was probably the most challenging because back then before anabolic fasting, I wasn't very uh, pleasant, you know, on some of these diet phases, that's to say like, that's probably an understatement. Rachel would probably give you the real on that if you talk to her. <laughs> and I think that then that wasn't imbalance. I wasn't able to be probably as good of a dad at that for periods of time because I was like, so beat up from whether the business or the diet or whatever it was, you know, but I felt like some of those things were necessary for the next level of what I was trying to push professionally. And so, yeah, it was completely out of balance. And I think what I started to realize once I, you know, transitioned into, I would say my new, my, my next level, my third life, basically, um, which is kind of where you're at right now, I would say, cause you, you backpedal, not backpedaled, but you, you made a decision because of the, I think the balance. Right. Sure. And I did the same thing. I didn't want to go, you know, let me go build another retail thing. I wanted a more intimate business where I had more flexibility. I wanted it to be honestly, like much smaller and manageable and, mm -hmm. and work with less people and make sure my impact's bigger. And so I chose all of those things on purpose to get it back in balance. And now every one of my kids like to come here and train. Two of them can drive, which is crazy. Uh, and the third one that's in seventh grade, you know, and, and he, he's still here three or four days a week. And so it became more integrated with that, I think, with that kind of strategy. But I definitely chose this other one for a period of time, and it, and it had the wheels fell off from time to time. There is no question. But as I went to this one, which is the current kind of situation I'm in, I'm really happy I made that choice, and, and it was a lot based around trying. I, I think balance is an interesting word for an extreme person uh, like myself, and, and I think like yourself too, is that it's more like how do we integrate it, get it all accomplished, and no one feels like they're getting the short end of the stick obviously yeah. mostly our kids, <laughs> you know what I mean? So right. it's a tricky balance, but I would, I think like the competing aspect for me on top of it all is really difficult because I have an expectation of myself to show up at a certain level of shape for these shoots or shows or meets or whatnot. So I think, um, Jewel, if it's not your job and you're, you're, you just being able to train on a regular basis and balance being a mom and having, and having your job and being a good wife like that, that's a lot of factors. And if they can all kind of sit in decent positions, I think it's a, a massive win. And, and I think I can probably speak for me and you, like, if we don't get that training in, we ain't the same people. Correct. And, and I, yeah. I know that has to happen so I can be the best dad and, yeah. and husband and business guy. Like if I don't get this, like I, I, I had this random thought this morning, I was like, Power, because I, I lifted heavier today than I have in a little while, and I was like, I think powerlifting just keeps the demons away. I don't know. Like I get a chance to just get under something heavy and fucking yeah. and, and go at it. And there's that. And then I tweeted something right after about how I was 
I was just an angry kid and I, and I, I put it all into positive stuff and discipline and my life completely changed. And I don't know that that's any different today as I sit here as I was when I was 15 or 16 years old. So I just think it's part of it, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's the other thing too. I, you know, why I want to keep it a priority is not so much, I mean, it's definitely keeping myself in shape, but like you said, you're just a better person because of it. And yeah. obviously if my baby's crying and, 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 and she needs to be tended to, then, you know, then that's what's got to happen. But at the end of the day, just pushing yourself through something you, you don't want to do sometimes as far as lunges and training, um, you know, it just makes the rest of your day seem, you know, a little bit easier, um, it, better able to handle situations and those difficult conversations. So, I mean, that's just another byproduct of everything that we do here. Here's one thing that I know as my kids got older too, is that they don't know what your lifestyle or what you're doing for so long. So you're just 10 years from now, you're still going to be lunging. You're still going to be training hard. And now your kids, you know, 12 or 13 and they, they just keep seeing it. Yeah. And even my oldest was resistant to it at first, but now he's talking about, he might want to do it uh, like as a profession. And it's like, kids do what they see. Not what you tell them. I think everyone knows that and hears it, but it's, it's exactly what is happening in my, in my life. And I'm so extreme. My kids are either going to love it or hate it. Sure. I don't even care if they do it for their living. I just want them sure. to be healthy people and do whatever they like for their job. Because that was my big thing in changing with my family is like no one liked their job. And like, mm -hmm. so I just want to make sure my kids get a chance to like what they have to do for the rest of their lives. Right. But it's like what I've seen happen is because it's just what we do. And Rachel, obviously not at a competitive level, but she's worked out her entire life. And obviously it's our job, but it's like, I've seen how the way that we eat and the, the training and that just always being present and just part of our lifestyle as they're getting older, that is just happening. And it's not without any, some major motivational talk or it's just like, Hey dad, you're going to be there so I can come train legs. Of course I'm going to be there. Like, I love it. There's times where they're all three here at the same time. Yeah. And it's probably makes me the most happy. It's right. especially in, in this environment, right? Because being able to sustain that grunginess and then having your children in there and training and kind of know what they're doing. It, it's, it's a really, it's a cool thing. So I think that will happen. Uh, and, and that's something you should keep in mind because then as you're able to do things that others aren't with your kids, because you're in this type of shape, that right. gives you a whole nother level of like parenting that, um, a lot of people can't experience. Honestly, right. it's pretty wild. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah. When my daughter so gets old enough and we're playing basketball, I want to be able to beat her in the driveway. You know, I don't want to be out of shape. <laughs> I talk so much shit to my kids yeah, still. Sure. I do not care. Like Andon's <laughs> always like, oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, bro, you just ain't ready yet. Like yeah. <laughs> you got a ways to go. So there is an element of that that is very cool. And I would not trade it for anything. Like last night I was watching him and, and Alex battle in the driveway one-on-one. -on -one. I didn't jump in yesterday, but it's like knowing you can. Yeah. is, 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 sure. is really, really cool. Yeah. So great, great question. That was kind of a long winded answer, but no, I cool. think the value and just like, there's definitely things you're going to choose from time to time that are going to be not in balance, but understanding that it might be a period of time where then you can kind of yeah. get it back. But these yeah. first couple of years are difficult. I mean, they only want their mom anyway. Like right. the I'm guys can't do a whole bunch. Yeah. It's just the truth. We don't get much of a break, <laughs> but it's all right. No, no, that's what you signed up for, for sure. For that sure. is like, it, yeah. it's, and I remember telling that to Rachel, like, you know, I was like, ah, they don't like first year or two, they don't really, they want their mom, you know, your dad has to be around and I'm there for support. But the reality is like, um, as they get older, they definitely lean on me a little bit, um, more from time to time, which, you know, is awesome. So yeah. it's been really cool. Uh, anything else I can help you with? No, I think, I mean, that kind of sums it up right there. Yeah. What else um, do you think you could share with any of the members on the app right now or uh, people that are kind of paying attention, like that aren't sure of, um, you know, how they could really kind of embark on, you know, trying to get addicted to feeling good? I mean, you said right there, like people don't know how good they can feel because they've never put the work in, but like it's, it feels so good to feel good. Like I say that all the time and, you know, I'm teaching physical education now, high school. And, um, you know, I deal with a lot of students that are just, have such a severe lack of motivation to, to do anything. Um, you know, I'm not your old school roll out the ball type of teacher. Like I want them to really understand what it means to be healthy and how it yeah. feels healthy. Um, 
So, you know, that's, that's certainly a constant daily struggle that, you know, I deal with, with in, in my profession, but it's something, but I'm glad it's there because it, it really gives me something to work toward in my profession and really, you know, help the, the younger generation, you know, learn about themselves, learn about their body, learn, learn what, what's out there that, that they can take advantage of to make themselves feel better. Um, you know, I think that's what this world needs is just people feeling better about themselves. And I think it really just starts with, you know, personal health and wellness. Um, you know, for the, for the people that are sitting on the sides, maybe thinking about getting involved in your programs, like just do it. Whether you have no pro, um, no equipment, bands, dumbbells, a full gym, whatever it is, there's zero excuse as to why you can't do at least one of your programs that you have. One, you can have a four foot space. You can do stationary lunges. Like there's zero excuse. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so just you know, just dive in. There's 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 no there's no reason there's you know to not do it. And there's certainly you're certainly not going to regret. You know, especially once you get involved with not only the program, but the community that you have. Um, and I think G Social has been awesome. And I think that that community is what I'm talking about. Even though I don't yeah. know these people in person, I feel like I do because of just the camaraderie that you've created within within Corey G Fitness itself. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just want to commend you, Jules, on all the hard work, the consistency, like just one of my favorite people I've got to meet over the years. And I'm just super proud of you. Thank you. I appreciate it, Corey. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. All right. That's Julie Arnold. I'm your boy, Corey G. This was the fourth member cast. Fourth member cast. All right. We are out. Later. Thanks, See you. Yeah. Thank you.